Hey everybody and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we are diving into therapy notes, specifically the billing section of this all-in-one practice management software. So we will cover everything from creating insurance claims and super bills to manage patient payments and tracking account balances, all using therapy notes intuitive billing tools. So let's begin by going to the official website. On the top corner, you have the option to log in using your credentials. But of course, we all know that the better option is to click the Start My Free Trial. If you do, you will be forwarded to a new page. It's very simple. All you have to do is provide all the information needed so that you can have a full access for 30 days completely free, absolutely at no cost, no credit card required. And then from here, just click the Continue button, all right? Wait for it to load, and then you will be forwarded to the main homepage of Therapy Notes. Now, as you may notice that it offers a very clean and straightforward platform. We have been using Therapy Notes for quite some time, and let me tell you, it's very easy to use. It's user-friendly. Now, right off the bat, it offers all the tools and features in the left side area of our navigation part. And let me tell you one by one. Now, obviously, the homepage is going to be your mini dashboard or kind of like your landing page after logging in it provides overview of any upcoming appointments but since this is a newly created account we don't have anything in place all right but this is going to be your quick access to commonly used features the to-do lists tracks all any pending actions such as incomplete notes summary account settings notes on patient records portal, portal and billing Later on, we're going to discuss about the billing because this is our main focus for today's video. But each task here is clickable and helps keeps clinicians compliant and organized. Okay. Now, the messages is going to be your secure internal messaging systems where staff can communicate about patient care, share internal updates, track message threads, and all communication stays compliant within the platform. And then there's going to be the scheduling, which is going to be the calendar system for managing appointments. Here you can view individual or group calendars. And with that, you also have the patient section, the central hub for managing client records and all of these. And of course, the staff is going to be where you can manage your practice team. You can set availability and specialties. The contacts gives you the ability to non-staff or non-patient contacts. All right. So for example, on providers, emergency contacts, or, or collaborating professionals. Of course, the most important part is going to be the billing. We are going to focus on the billing part of this uh, video because, for one, it handles all the financial aspects such as generating invoices and super bills. All right. Here you can manage client payments and credits. How? I want you to click the enter a payment, uh, patient payment. For example, if you want to enter uh, a name or ID, for example, um, let's say type it in. If you don't have that ready, you just have to enter a full or partial name to look up a patient. For example, Jones, John, there's no John here. All right. And you have the ability to enter any miscellaneous charge. Provide all these, you need to provide the patient first. If you don't have any payment yet, there's going to be an option here to create a statement. All right. Here, you can create aging report and batch statements. For example, if you want to put in any clinician or active clinicians, it's up to you. Um, for the balance, you can choose from has credit, has an assigned or has balance or any including zero balance, including unknown rates plus any age. It's up to you. And then click the create a report. What will happen is it will be forwarded to the patient aging report. You can export this via spreadsheet or save it or print it as a PDF depending on your preferences. All right. Then we're going to go back again to the patient billing section. We're in you have the insurance claims you can submit primary claims here by providing all the information status is pending or pending initial submissions or maybe if you want to set it as an all open items you can do so of course you need to put in the any payer or specific clinician or just yourself all right 
and then go back here now if you want to create a CMS 1500 you can do so you need to search the billing transactions first all right so um, for now we're gonna go to the um, appoint appointment with um, completed note let's say we're gonna go to the patients we're going to create a new patient here okay so we can add it to our um, billing so in this case for example we're gonna be adding a new patient as first name is okay so we're gonna save this as a new patient now I'm gonna go back very quickly to the billing section with the billing section now we can enter the payment patient all right so we have now we can enter that so on the billing section it's gonna load up a lot of uh, options here so that you can uh, save a new payment in cash is it gonna be check you can use that and put in the payment amount for example $69 check number comments and a lot more so or if you wanted to use a cash you can also do that plus external it's up to you all right but the thing is if you go to the billing settings let's leave it for now we're gonna go back to the main options as we have um, checked earlier it takes a little while so we just have to patiently wait for it so the billing comments is you can edit for example you can do this and save it save changes all right and we're gonna go back to the billing tab again now if you wanted to create a super bill let's say for this one click the search button and then what we will have is the ability to charge super bill to this specific patient okay and then of course we go back here to the billing section if you want to enter insurance payment you can do so by clicking that section right here and you will be forwarded to this section all right in order to enter the insurance payment you must first set up your payers all right click the payer setting page so that it's a lot easier to add a new payer so just have to provide all the information needed so that you can um, add a payer for any insurance claims that you might have or include here in therapy notes in terms of the billing you need to provide the um, payer name network billing method and all these information and once you have done that click the save a new payer we're gonna go back again to the building section because on the uh, uh, there is the mark external claims it's kind of like a separate um, option for you if you wanted to use this specific procedure to mark off your externally submit submission all right and this feature does not generate claims or CMS for these items okay so we have basically that's it covering the billing section of a therapy notes and with that being said now you have seen how therapy notes simplifies the billing process from insurance claims and payment tracking to customizable billing reports and super bills it delivers a powerful intuitive billing system that integrates seamlessly with your scheduling and clinical notes so if you're looking for an all-in-one solution that handles both your clinical and financial workflows this software is definitely worth considering thank you so much for watching and we will see you again in the next video